Hey guys, so I had two more, hopefully quicker, reflections on five feet apart. So one, um, I do think it is spreading some awareness and I had a perfect example of that last night. Um, I had met someone, this was someone I hadn't met before, it was a friend of a friend, and um, we were sitting down eating and I pulled out my, sort of my dinner pill case which is basically a, a tea container full of, <laughs> packed full of pills. And she was like, well, that's a mother of all pill cases. And kind of like, what's wrong with you? You know, like, why do you need all those pills? And I was just like, yeah, this is only a small portion of them, actually. I'm like, but I have cystic fibrosis and just kind of, you know, left it at that and tried to go on with the meal, usually because I just don't in general make that much of a big deal. I don't make a big deal at all um, about my pills. And in fact, I didn't even think about it. I just kind of put them up on the table and got them ready to take them. And she was like, oh, isn't that that, what is that, like a nervous system thing? And then I was like, no, actually, you know, it affects the mucous membranes of the body, the lungs. And she was like, oh, she was like, yeah, I just saw this movie. She's like, actually, I read the book first, blah, blah, blah. And so she had seen Five Feet Apart. And um, she had a number of questions and was like, some very interesting questions that I just really did not expect about like, you know, could I, if she didn't know, you know, one, like why couldn't I give her like some of the bacteria or diseases that I was carrying around or, um, and two, like I guess one of the other shocking things or things that kind of surprised me was she was like, so if I didn't know and we were just sitting here, like, could something just happen to you right now? Like, you could just, like, keel over or something? And I was just like, no, I mean, well, I guess that's true for anybody, right? But um, anyway, so there was, it was an opportunity to really um, educate. And I was, you know, pleased to see that this young woman had seen the movie. Um, and she definitely still had questions, but at least she after a second like could digest and knew what cystic fibrosis was or even like a little slice of what it was um so it provided an educational opportunity there um but also <clears throat> definitely had some interesting reactions from other people like some friends and family and stuff that i guess also kind of surprised me and um I wanted to address that piece. Um, <clears throat> so I, I guess what I was one thing I was surprised about was the number of people who were like, "Oh, I don't want to see that," or "That's too depressing," or you know, I yeah, I just couldn't handle that. I couldn't handle seeing that movie. Or so I want to respond in two ways to that. Um, if you're someone who's feeling like that, um, one, of course, like, you know, it's obviously your choice whether you see the movie. So no, you know, pressure around that and you have to do what feels right for you with anything. Um, but two, I wanted to say that, you know, it's not a depressing movie. Like, yes, it's a tearjerker and there's some sadness in it. Um, and I definitely, you know, cried through a portion of it. Um, but it's not like a completely it's not a depressing message i mean to me the message is really about like yes showing a glimpse of cf but also um speaking to the you know the gift it is to be able to touch and be touched sorry there's an alarm going off um by those you love and to just really not take that for granted and um you know to appreciate different aspects of life and so anyway, I, th I think there's actually, without spoiling too much of the movie, there are, it's, there's an uplifting component of the movie too. So it's not just a depressing movie. Um, and two, I just want to sort of challenge this idea, like for some of the people out there who are like, oh yeah, I don't want to see that, you know, or I can't handle seeing that or, um, what do I want to say? I'm sorry. This alarm of course it's going to be going off while I'm doing this but um I guess what I want to say is like there's a part of me that's like 
you can't handle it? Like, you, what can't you handle? Like, meaning, like, this is... This is a slice, like a small slice. It's like a two hour, however long the movie is, slice of like some of what it could be like or is like to live with cystic fibrosis. Like people live with this their whole lives. And so for someone to say to me, especially or like someone who has CF, like, oh, I don't think I could handle seeing that movie. Just really, to me, I guess what I... What I want to say is to just maybe put that into perspective and maybe hear what you're saying. So you're saying, you know, potentially to someone who's, who lives with a part of this as their reality for their whole life. Again, it's just a, a slice of the reality, but you're saying to a person who lives with CF, like, I don't think I could handle, you know, two hours of seeing that or, uh, you know, so... My invitation is to really, is to think about that, even regardless of whether you see the movie or not, to, to really think about that. And, um, you know, like I've said before, it's not right for everybody. And, you know, I had thoughts myself of maybe not seeing the movie. Part of that on my end was um, originally, like, I didn't know, like, I didn't want to... Um, perpetuate kind of the drama of what having CF could be in my life and so I didn't want to put my attention and focus there so much um but then you know when I read more about the movie and kind of learned more and saw like how deeply I was touched you know even by the preview um and especially because I've shared in the video before it really touched something very personal in my own life my own story I did choose to go see it. And again, I'm not saying that I think everybody should see this movie, but for those who have said, you know, either, you know, haven't like, oh yeah, I want to see it, but haven't made the time to see it. And, or, um, you know, I don't think I could, I don't, I don't think I could handle that, or I don't want to be sad, or I don't want to be depressed to just maybe think about what you're actually saying. Like, to me, some of what I hear when I say that is like, I guess I, I, I don't know how to say it exactly, but like really? Like you can't handle it for two hours or again, how I, I don't know how specifically how long the movie is, but really you can't handle that? Or when you're saying that to someone who, who lives with some of this reality all the time, it's just... Um, yeah, just the invitation is to just have some perspective around that, maybe particularly if you're talking to someone who has, who lives with CF. Um, yeah, and I totally get like wanting to surround yourself with positivity and to not, you know, be exposed to depressing things. And, you know, maybe that's true, maybe mentally and emotionally, you can't handle that or, or are choosing not to handle that. Um, and that's totally fine. Just maybe um, also think about that and um, think about the number of people who don't actually have the choice around whether they think they can handle that, not just two hours of that but a lifetime of that so it's my uh reflections and so food for thought okay take care